Hello everybody. Today we're going to be fixing a uh, dead iPod. Uh, and we're going to use parts from a different dead iPod. This one, um, I think, might have, yep, it, okay, it does. It has a bad screen. This one here, which is a noticeably gooder screen, uh, and a, a nicer front, it's a crappy back, this one has a crappy back too, but, um, so the issue is, this one has a bad hard drive, and when I opened it, I broke this little thing off, which goes on the ribbon cable for the headphone jack and hold switch. So not only do I need a hard drive, I need this assembly. So I looked for parts on eBay and came up with this thing. Um, I've not tried to turn it on. I don't think it would come on. Uh, the screen is bad. And hopefully this is good. And the hard drive is good. So, let's open them up. Uh, if you've watched any of my older videos, uh, you may know that one of the my favorite tools to open things up is guitar picks. So, let's do it. Um, as you can see, this is what you're dealing with inside there. It's plastic clips on either side, a couple little ones at the bottom, nothing at the top, and they just clip onto these uh, little metal nubs inside there. So, we'll start with one of the sides, we kind of like, I like the, I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but kind of like shift that faceplate over some, kind of sneak it in there. Yep. So we came apart there. Yep. Look at that. Turn the other side. Yep. So it's popping up in there. So I want to be real careful not to break that cable. And it's here. Ooh. Oh, no, it's here. Okay. So I got into trouble before because I just like reefed on the cable and pried it and it came right up you know the cable um so this is something else i like to use sometimes this is um tupperware uh citrus opener so let's see if we can get this in here Oh boy. I don't want to break it. That actually looks pretty clean inside. So, there it is. So I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna move this back over. And I think I might just uh, move the hard drive over too. 
Is that an indication that someone's been in here before? Like it's come up a little bit? This is a third gen iPod, by the way. Third gen classic or whatever. Yeah, original. Third gen original. <laughs> it's one of the old school ones. It's a different size physically, too. I guess I didn't even think about that. Oh, that says it's a 10. This is a 40. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Is that a bigger back? It is a bigger back. But that's fine, um, because I'm moving the hard drive in the back over. So, it's fine, I think. Is that okay? Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, okay, that's this one. This is a 40, okay. Golly. this off and on unnecessarily. So I just want to put it on when I know that this is okay. Um, third gen requires a firewire um, to 30 pin to charge it. Well, charge on a USB 30 pin. Uh, I have this funky cable. It's the only one I have that has the 30 pin end firewire. It does charge the third gen. But it also has, it's like a two-in-one, so it's got um, USB N firewire on the other end. Weird, right? What do you think? Okay. Oh. Hello! Music? Yo! That's click! Too, huh? How about that? Uh, so this has a backlight also on those buttons. Um... How do you do that? Backlight. Yo! Look at that! No, no! What happened? He hates bright lights. Okay. Um, I guess this works. That's, uh, I guess, going to be a short video. Um, I honestly thought there would be more wrong with it. Um, I'm very glad that it's not. I'd like to let this charge a little bit. I think the battery is okay in that one. Uh, I'd also like to power this one up. And just see what that screen looks like. Uh, this one I think might shut off right away. Battery power. No battery power remains. Okay. That's fine. And. Let's see if it even tries to display anything. I didn't want to do this before I took the good parts out because I didn't know whether applying power to this in its state, the state that it was, would mess anything up. I didn't know if that was water damage or, I didn't know. So, I wanted to take the good stuff out of it first. But, yeah, no, no response here. Okay, let me move this off the side for a moment, since I think this one is okay. Now, I am going to Plug it back in. I have to be oh so gentle about it. Oh my flavors. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna 
goes in. Worst kind of. So I think you have to put the bottom in first. <laughs> because otherwise, if you put the top in first, there we go. Okay. Oh, no, did I? Okay, good. Uh, that's one. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, you did put one on. Yeah, all right. Um, one thing I didn't make sure of that you always want to make sure of is whether the hold switch is in the same position as the hold switch on the board itself in there. I don't know if you can see this here. There's a little, little switch. So that has to line up. Um, otherwise, you could break it. So... I don't think I did. I think it was aligned. Make sure it still works. Um, one thing I could have done, if you look, if you look here, it's actually bowed out a little bit. I probably could have. Oh, this is not working. <gasps> Oh no. What? What happened? Okay. Great. Well, um, let's open our back up. Okay. Okay. Let's say that whole twitch does not look broken. So, um, what? Okay, that works. What I was going to say before was, um, this uh, side had a little bit of a bow to it. And I, didn't rem I don't remember if it had it before I opened it or it's from when I opened it. So what you can do, I'll show you a little bit on this one, is if you just squeeze the sides in a little bit, you can kind of like form it back to straight or straight her, so it doesn't stick out so much when you have it back together. Alright, so we didn't take that cable off. Now this time, we'll make sure the hold switch is not on, and neither is that physical switch inside. Sounds like I'm breaking it, right? Okay. Now, it just worked a minute ago. We plug it in. It doesn't work. What the heck? What's going on here? Could possibly be happening. It makes it not turn on when it's in the case. I hear the hard drive spinning. I mean, that's working too. This is. I don't think it's clicking as loud, but it's in a case now. What is happening? I didn't even like unplug that cable. So the diff the only difference is it was in the case and slightly out of the case okay Is it pressing against the screen okay <laughs> that works so the headphone jack thing I think it might be pressing up against the screen, but that's not, does not appear to be the case. What the heck is the difference? Some 
person. Oh. Oh. Oh, is it something with the battery? No. Yeah. Okay. I'm putting a ton of strain on that cable. I don't want to be. Okay. Let's try this again. Um, don't, I'll just want to take this off, I think. Okay. Okay. So something... there's anything in that case that was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everything looks okay there oh. Oh. no not exactly like it did before So what do we have in here? There's one ribbon cable on the side, the uh, like for the screen. I don't, I don't actually know. Can I pry on it? Can I pry it? Ooh. Oh yeah, I can pry on it. Is it a good idea to pry on it? Yes, there's a connector there. All right, let's get rid of you. Let's unplug the battery. Like it's a little slimy in here. Like this one was too. I think it's from this like rubber. I don't know if that is like off gassing. Causing an issue. Okay. Is that connector? I don't even know if that goes to the screen, honestly. But is that causing an issue? Okay. Um take a closer look at this real quick. Okay. So I got the microscope out. And uh, I'll show you a little closer, I guess, what I was looking at. So this is that little flap. So I don't know if it's like dirty now. Like I don't know if you can see here. Like it's like there's like a film all over everything. And I think that is from this gross thing. Look at it. It looks like it's wet. Gross. So anyway. Um Maybe that's causing some issue with this. I don't know if there's any other ribbon cables. Um, battery looks a little puffy too, doesn't it? I wonder if it's like if the battery's an issue. It doesn't look like it says replacement for third gen battery. This one does not. I think that might be original. I don't know if that's like. I guess I'll sit in there flat for sure. Oh, golly. So, is that pressing on this? Something? Causing some issue here? And that's actually why it's not in there flat because there's nothing behind it there. That's the same thing here. Alright, I don't know if that's the issue then. Okay. 
them in here. Let me a little IPA in it. IPA, pink toothbrush. Let's get this show on the road. Now, as you saw, I did unplug the battery first. That was like corrosion or something on that chip. Okay, I'm going to um, oh, wipe that battery off there and wipe that off a little bit too. Maybe I'll take that battery out. I'll, I'll try putting it back together like this first. And um, I don't know what's under here. I guess that's just the ribbon for the hard drive. Let's see, put it together, you think? Dry enough? That'd be a dry pretty quick. Guess we'll find out. So we got that. Seems a little better. Guess that's right. So that's okay. All right. A flicker. All right. Okay. Seems like it's not doing it anymore. How do you turn? Okay, let's turn this up. Okay, so hold is off. Hold is off. Put this little cable plug back in for the last time, right? Oh, careful. Okay. <laughs> Hey! Okay, that's good. Alright, 
So we're in there, and we're on. Does it come on on? Sweet. All right. So I'm going to let this charge a little bit, um, and then I'll clean it up. Okay, so I've had it on charge a little bit. Um, probably take an hour or so to charge it completely. But um, let's put it on hold. Is this working? Yes. Okay, so um, what do we end up with here? Yeah, front of the working one with the working front and the cleaner back. So I'm going to wipe it down with just some IPA and a very old dish rag. Okay, so now it's cleaner, um, but we have a ton of scratches. And if any of you remember, I took scratches out of plastic. Um, not the headlights, but I, I did that too, but uh, I used uh, this Meguiar's Plastex. This is a janky old bottle of it, um, but we use it to take scratches out of the lid of a turntable. So I'd like to try it on this and see what it does. We're going to use the same procedure. So it'll be a drill and a polishing pad. Chunky, a little bit drying out some. Mm, don't look too bad. It's a lot better than it was. Okay, so we do a little more of that, and we got a lot of the fine scratches out. The heavy stuff is going to stay, even if I do more. I mean, you have to do an awful lot of polishing to get the heavy stuff out. Do a little bit more. Yeah, even better. I'm not going to go around the sides because I don't want it in the crack. I don't want it in the bottom or the headphone jack. Yeah, Whoa. that looks a lot better. For uh, the back, I'm actually going to use um, wheel polish. And let's see how that works. I'll use a different pad on here. Some polish on there. Oopsies. Put my hand to it, I guess. Okay, so just polish the bottom half. Let's see what that looks like. Way better. Look at that. If you see that, it's like tons better. See that? Hey, look at that. So anyway, I'm going to do more of that. Let's 
do one more polish on here. You don't need a lot, and if you get a lot, it actually, when you go too fast, it slings everywhere. I don't probably have it slung. I'm going to do the same on this. And by that, I mean not go down the edges. Um, the sides aren't that, that bad. It was really the back that was really scratched up. I don't want it in the cracks. So you're definitely getting it everywhere. Yo, so. check that out. You see this? You see yourself? That's pretty good. So, yeah, I'm pleased with that. Now, now uh, fingerprints will show up in there. Real easy. Look at that. <laughs> I've already did it. There you go. Like a new. Well, like used. Alright, so. We've successfully taken uh, a broken iPod. Two broken iPods. And uh, we made one work. Look at the back. Look at look how well that came up. I'm really pleased with that. Yeah. All right, guys, get out there. I polish your iPods. You're gonna love it. Thanks for watching.